Peace and blessings, family. Sister Ajali, I didn't plan on being in here today. Uh, I managed to, I'm on schedule. I finished 130 pages of my novel, which is phenomenal. And it's very disturbing because I'm a reluctant writer. I'm writing because I can. I'm very good at it. But at the same time, I'm perfectly content to just be, you know, regular folk. However, we've got a radioactive emergency on our planet and we've got friggin' procyon loaders off the scale in charge of what we think is important. If we don't have a future through our children, we have nothing, nothing. If we don't have a planet safe enough to continue and perpetuate life of all species, out on infinitum until the sun bursts apart, we have nothing. And I'm not talking about a potential future that is billions of years away. I'm talking about right now in our very lifetimes, in our next couple months and years. That is how devastating the effect of man-made radiation is. And you can't go anywhere and not find man-made radiation. All these dots everywhere, they list the nuclides they found from years and years of sampling it's not just fukushima fukushima was and remains such an obvious marker of the hell of radiation that it permits those who like myself have been fooled by the movies oh it's radiation you know it's not that big of a deal uh, to verify to confirm it's a extinguishing of all existence deal and so this little sample right here which is just one of them yields plutonium and cesium and strontium i know these abbreviations because i've been studying this stuff deeply nobody can question what they do all they can do is hide my presence that does not hide the crap that is all over the globe. You can and these are just this is a straight line because the boat they were on was going in a straight line and taking these samples at no time did is there one of these that doesn't come up with something radioactive. Don't believe the hype about tritium without asking my detailed opinion, my detailed research conclusion. Tritium is not friendly and sweet is high water is far more deadly than they'll ever let us know so this is a report that i did covering this and they know what's coming this i'm sure what we're experiencing right now is what all the creatures the by the billions who died Remember the nine billion missing crabs that nobody but me and mad black tv brother chris miller reported on I don't stop because they don't stop killing us while they are making sure the headlines are so off the charts. They even have Putin confessing, oh, yeah, no, Jesus was black. Like you didn't know, like you didn't know, mf -er before that. Stop, All right? They got everything going on. So you don't pay attention to this is happening to your family, my family, just like all those dead creatures. And it doesn't have to. That's why they hide my presence. If I were a non-factor, trust and believe by now, I would have, oh, the hundreds of thousands of subscribers that some of these big black YouTubers have. And they never say a goddamn word. And I've gone on all their platforms and told them about this. And all they did maybe was once pretend that they were talking. Oh, well, you should talk about Fukushima. It's a scary thing. And they look scared as hell saying a word about it themselves. Because I can bring out the data and rip you a whole new one. That's for damn sure. And so this one right here, I was going over the uh, aberration, the obvious, like the, the, the 
The devil has employees. He doesn't have champions. Very, very few people, if they understand what they're signing up for when they go to the CIA, the FBI, or the neighborhood coven, what, and that could be your church, okay? Um, what they are signing up for. They have no freaking idea. It's the antimatter. It's the nothingness. It is complete and total destruction of existence. If they think it's a pretty fancy house, that ain't going to protect you from dookie squat if we don't have a planet. So this map right here, they ain't know. They were pointing out the aberration of Fukushima. Look at this. These are all the deaths coming from the headline that clearly states record 2 million. This is far less than what we're going to see. So that's why I'm here. Because I woke up this morning ready to do what I got to do. Today's one of my days to relax and not write directly. And I saw these two reports. Now we know this brother right here. I think his name was Vontae Davis. Yeah. He just died at 35. Immediately they're putting out their photos of him having been in a crash. And they say oh, he was asleep. At the scene of the crash. Outside. What? He was unconscious. He was unconscious. There's a reason for that. Maybe he was drugged up out of his mind. But he still was unconscious. What's that got to do with the potential of why he's gone now? That's because they're all on board. I see their headlines. Daily Mail. Because they listen to my shares. Reported on. Oh yeah. No. The Bella Hadid. She drink CMOS gel and then very next day they came in and they were like oh no 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 dietitians and they also had in their doctors point out that CMOS gel causes severe thyroid problems you're daggone tootin it does but the rest of us we still keep down on that crap I don't know what killed Vontae Davis their coroners could later on and say whatever the hell they want to say they're all paid it's all part of the system heading straight straight to the nothingness. I'm just saying, when you got young people going out that warrants a massive investigation, when you have millions predicted to die and billions eventually, that's how big it is, just look at the crabs. An investigation is demanded by all conscientious people and they're the only ones who deserve our agreement to submit to their authority. They're the only ones. I, do I recommend violence? Oh, hell no. We got the most high. He said, separate. He said, don't gloat. Don't gloat. So I don't. I do the best I can not to. I don't wish anybody any harm. I'm just saying hours are going down. And when I think about that daggone sea moss being pushed at us, I sit back and I wonder, was that what your family was eating on the plate? Along with fish, along with all the things that you might get from if you happen to live in a black community, they will beeline right to your supermarkets. Now I'm just saying we need to get the truth. They, these, oh, I want to cuss them out. Um, these devils have killed the largest source of oxygen on our planet. They're killing their own, all them airplanes. They want to blame on Boeing and they make it seem as if it's DEI, diversity, equity, inclusion, some stupid stuff. That it's black us doing it like they want us to make, make it seem as if it's black us who support wokery. And they want, oh, no, no, you don't understand when people want to be heterosexual, which is the only method of reproducing civilization. They want to then make that seem like, oh, that's white supremacists. It's white supremacists for white people who want to marry white people. Go marry your own. God damn it. I don't want you. Right. It's not evil. To just like what you were born to be. And black us like being black. 
We like what we were born to be. We mostly, and we were depicted as homophobic and God dang it, we have not changed. Neither does the Most High. He didn't like the White House either, all okay? right? He hasn't liked it since it was formulated. He warned us about it. High school student dies after collapsing while playing basketball. Reports say, ah, Shay to 17-year-old Cam Ward, who was playing a pickup game, and he collapsed and he's gone. This changed my morning's plans. And before I go to the next thing, um, let me just speak on this young brother. Young youth soccer player dies after collapsing during game, officials say. Hearts are heavy. When had nothing like this has ever happened? Ah, Shay to little Ken Taylor, who was playing soccer when he collapsed on the field. Damn. Let's come on over to my radiation files and go to the got cancer one. And starting up at the top, let's just scroll down to all the stories. This is just in the past four months who have cancer because this is a brand new computer my other computer the list is even longer but it is going off the scales and i want you to see right here chemo overdose on old satanic daily mail chemo overdose silently killing hundreds oh just hundreds oh stop that's just on my list they don't list regular you and me when we are overtaken right this is because chemo ain't nothing. They discovered chemo when they saw how quickly mustard gas kill people. And they theorized that if they gave it in a low enough dose, it would kill cancer cells, which are fast growing cells, fast enough that the patient would stay alive. I said, that's a recipe for disaster because the cancer cells come back after that. But all of your healing cells, your immune system cells, which ordinarily would proliferate fast enough themselves in order to overcome any threat to your life, uh, they don't come back as fast as the cancer cells. And so it makes, it winds up killing the patients. I've always said that. And now, psh, what? This is basic plumbing. And they mystify us with these medical shows that these guys are gods. I'm not hating on doctors. They do an incredible service. I'm glad they're there, mostly for trauma. And also heart attacks, and things like that. But they say nothing. They say nothing about what are you eating? And God damn it, they say even less about the man-made radiation. Hey, my condolences to the families of these young brothers and my ashe to them. It's not fair. And those of us who know what's at stake, we're doing what needs to be done. We will be victorious because the truth is always the winner. Straight black pride is our map to a better future. Peace and blessings. I love you.